everyone myself divyanshi from gladwin group gladwin group of companies are engaged in the manufacturing research and development of ultra modern technological products like interactive flat panels video conferencing solutions digital podiums video walls and many more products now these interactive flat panels are available in five sizes it starts from the 55 inches then 65 inches 75 inches 86 inches and the largest one is 98 inches if we talk about the configuration of this interactive flat panel it is having the latest version that is android 11.0 version with 4 gb ram and 32 gb rom as you can see the android version is 11.0 and the ram is 4 gb and the rom will be 32 gb if you don't want to go with 4 gb ram and 32 gb rom even you can go with 8 gb ram and 128 gb rom so you can take the configuration as per your need then if you talk about the motherboard which is used in this interactive flat panel this quad core processor is used and cvte motherboard is used and the clock speed of the processors is 1.92 gigahertz will be which will make your panel somewhere work more efficiently right now we'll discuss about the features one by one first of all there is a software for the note it's the whiteboard software first of all i'm having a pen over here i can choose the color of the pen and thickness of the pen as per my need and whatever i want to write on this screen i can write like this now if i want to erase the content i have to just put my paw it will enable a gesture eraser and i can erase my content very easily now if you want to clear the whole screen at one time you will click on the clean all my screen will be clear now ruler is there if you want some tools to be inserted on the whiteboard you can use these tools like if i want a protector i want to make an angle for the 90 degrees so i will make the angle like this and i will click on the tick sign now my angle is ready as you can see on this screen so in this way you can use several tools as per your need and the convenience right now shapes are there both 2d and 3d shapes are there so as you can see on this screen 2d shapes are there and if you want to use 3d shapes 3d shapes are also available and there is one more feature of chart play it means whatever the shape i draw on my board it will automatically gives it a precise shape so in this way you can make the shapes on your own then if you want to insert the table you can choose the rows and columns as per your need and you can insert the table like this If you want to write something in this table, the cell will adjust accordingly as per the content. Now, if I want to add the pages, I can add the pages as well from here. I can add my pages. Then, mind map is there. If you want to classify some things, some classifications are given. Whatever the content you will write, it will detect the con content, and you can give it a precise, you know, precise text. so that can be work you can increase and decrease the number of the classifications then sticky notes are there we all have some to do list in our day to day lives or when we talk about the uh, education we always have some points to be remember right so what you can do is whatever you want to write on the sticky notes you can write and that will be inserted here and even you can change the color also so in this way you can make a list whatever the points you want to be discussed in your class you can remember by seeing this side then if you want to preview the page you can preview like this whatever you have done on your page then if i talk about the sharing part if you want to share the content it will generate a qr code and the moment you will scan this qr code it will redirect you towards a link which will be opened in the browser and in the browser you can see the pages in your phone so in this way you can do the sharing part if you want to import something whether it's a pdf or an image whatever thing you want to import on your whiteboard you can import that if you import the pdf say the pdf is of 15 pages each page will be imported on each page of this whiteboard suppose if you are having the pdf of 15 15 pages so first page will be imported on the first page the second page will be imported on the second page so in this in this way particular pages of the pdfs will be imported on different pages of this slide next if you want to save the content you can save you have to select the folder in whatever format you want to save 
your document you can save in whatever format you want to keep it in whatever folder you want to keep it right now you can see even you can rename your project then if you want to change the backgrounds various backgrounds are available here even different templates are available whether you want to go with a sports background or a grid line background so you can do that as well you can send the templates as per well, need and the convenience then if you go on the settings there is an option for the multi finger writing what multi finger writing means is like if you want multiple people to come on work on this whiteboard so at one point of time multiple people can work by enabling this option like this so in this way you can use and the response time will be of 3 milliseconds which is somewhere very negligible right now there is one more option which is one of the most advanced option is automatic brightness what automatic brightness means is the interactive flat panels whiteboard brightness will be adjusted according to the teacher or the person who is working on the whiteboard if the person uh, the position of the person will decide the brightness of the interactive flat panel so this is one of the most advanced features which will be giving in the whiteboard feature so this was all about the interactive flat panels whiteboard now this is one of the whiteboard which is known as the note now there is one more whiteboard in the android system and that whiteboard is byflow's classroom i have shown you that also now this is my byflow class now all the features would be same you can write you can erase but some of the features are very advanced which will be we will be talking about in this video so i will tell you about the advanced features in this byflow's class here you can see different things are available like suppose if i want to insert a periodic table i can insert the periodic table like this so in this way you can have a look over your periodic table if you want to show some planet on your whiteboard you will click on the planet and you have to select the planet and this will be shown in a 3d way like this so in this way there are many features which are available in the byflow's classroom if you are if you are a music teacher and if you want to teach music through this byflow class that is also possible you will click on the piano and now the piano is there and the musical notes will be written over here like this and from here you can adjust the volume as per your need i will increase the volume and then i can show you from here as you can see i will increase my volume and in this way you can have the various musical notes available here going to the next feature now suppose if you are having some ppt or if you are having some pdf in your interactive flat panel and you want to open that pdf or ppt so there is one software that is wps office wps office will enable you to open some presentations of pdfs in your panel and if you want to write something on this there is an annotation mode you can write on the videos you can write on the screens or pdfs or ppts wherever you want to overwrite on the screen you will enable the annotation mode and now you can write on your screen so in this way you can use the wps office now again moving to the advanced feature if you want to split the screen now suppose on one end you want your byflow's class and on the another end you want some youtube or anything you want to so what you can do is there is an option as you can see on this screen which is split screen now what split screen means is suppose on one end i want my byflow's class and on the another end i want my browser so two applications can be run on the same time with the help of this split screening option so as you can see on the screen two applications are running simultaneously on the same screen with the help of this split screen right now one more feature is there like suppose i am having my browser over here now sometimes we are having some images we want to import the images directly to the whiteboard so that option is available suppose this is my image and i want to import this image directly to my whiteboard that is node so what can i do is i show you i click on this image
Now I have low pressed on my image. I will click on import to node. Now this image will directly be inserted on the whiteboard that is node. And now you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Even if you want to write on this image, you can write as well. So in this way, you can directly import the image from the browser to the interactive flat panel whiteboard. So this was all about the interactive flat panel. And yes, some features are there. You can do the screen recording. You can take the screenshots. Even you can connect your external cameras. So all these features are possible with the interactive flat panel. You can increase and decrease the brightness of the interactive flat panel. You can increase and decrease the volume. You can on and off the eye protection mode. So all these things can be done. And yeah, the ports which are available are USB ports are available. HDMI ports are available both in and out. If you want to give the wire connectivity for the Wi-Fi, for that purpose, RJ45 port is available. In many other ports, you can use the ports as you need in the convenience. And rest, we end up this video right now here. And if you have any query or any doubt related to this interactive flat panel, you can post your comments. We'll try to reply each and every comment of yours. Thank you.